What's going on guys and welcome back to the Angry Apes How To series and um, in today's video we're going to be going over how to use MetaMask. So whenever you guys download MetaMask, um, which you can do either through your App Store or you can do through Google um, Chrome through a web extension, what you're going to want to do is when you load the app you're going to get an option to either um, sign in using your seed phrase or you can create a new account. So. For those who have pre-existing MetaMask accounts, of course, sign back into your, your account. Um, but for those who are new to it all, you're going to want to go through the steps to set up um, and create your wallet. But the most important thing, which I have to stress right at the beginning of this video, is your seed phrase. Please, please, please make sure you write that down um, on a pen and paper and you leave no digital footprint. So don't take any pictures of it, don't take any screenshots of or anything to do with the paper or the phrase itself from the website or the app. Um, just make sure that's old school, pen and paper, and then you lock it away, keep that safe. Um, that's basically all anyone needs to be able to log into your wallet um, or to sign into your wallet. So keep those safe and um, you just, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a favor. Um, so once you're into the account though and you've created that up your screen's going to look something very similar to this whether you're on the mobile or the google chrome um, extension so for here i am on the chrome extension and the uh, web extension is actually only for google chrome for metamask so um yeah just stressing that and actually for those of you that want to know um obviously on your play store just um just uh, either on the app store or play store just search metamask and then it'll come in, but if anyone wants to download it, if you go on Google and type in MetaMask, you'll see the top link, metamask.io. Click that, and then you can see download now, um, and then again, follow through the installation steps, and then that will be up here in your plugins, and then whenever here, you can just click um, in your extensions, and that'll take you here. Every time you click your extension, you'll need to sign in though, so the password you set, you have to uh, input that password here. But once you're in, this is what your screen looks like. It will tell you the, uh, the balance and you have three sections here. Buy, send, swap. You can see your assets here. You can then check for any activity. And up here, where it says your account, you see this address here. If you hit copy to clipboard, for example, that would then be your address, right? You can then copy, paste, um, and whether you then copy and pasting that to then send to someone so that way they can send you then any cryptos or you're sending that to yourself to then send some um, cryptos into your metamask wallet specifically for any nft drops that is the address you are going to want to copy um, so when you're in here though you've got three options so for those of you uh, for those of you that want to buy um, directly through metamask if you hit buy you can then get presented with these options I'm going to click the top one um, for this example, but the other screens will give you something similar to this. You can see here, I do have a limit on how much that I can purchase. Um, and again, this is in dollars, so you can type in, I want $100, please, worth of Ethereum. Um, you can then see you've got the exchange rate, you've got transaction fee because you do have to pay fees, network fees, and your total purchase for $100 worth of Ethereum. In this instance, it's today's price, will cost you $115. Um, you can also obviously switch it up. So if you're buying in pounds, you can buy pounds. If you're buying in euros, etc., etc., um, and you can change what coin you're buying. So let's say you wanted to buy some Bitcoin. You wanted to do pound to Bitcoin. You could then do that, and then the fees would vary, um, and the amount would also vary. So once you then do that, obviously authorize, hit next, um, and then well, you'd enter all your payment information as well. Um, so you can pay through credit debit cards once you've gone through all of that and confirmed the transaction that money will then just go into your account so let's say you've purchased ethereum you then be able to click here and then this ETH uh, balance will obviously update you can also then go on activity and it will probably say um, your your recent purchase of ethereum will be stored here as well so that's if you're buying through metamask um, obviously, if you're sending money to MetaMask, we've discussed copying the, uh, the address, pasting it, sending it to yourself. And before you send from, say, an exchange to your wallet, please, please, please double, triple, quadruple check your address. Because once you've sent it, the money, um, the cryptos are then gone. Um, so you can also send 
So again, let's say I wanted to send, this is obviously my address, but then you can see here, ETH balance, and then you can type in, I want to send one ETH, etc, etc. Um, and then hit next, continue that. But that's how you would go about sending cryptos from your MetaMask to somewhere else. Or you can swap. So what you can do is say you've got Ethereum, right? And you've got two Ethereum. You then want to swap to something else, whether it's Luna, Link, Rune, any of these coins. You can obviously do this. Um, you then have a slippage um, amount. Obviously, make sure the slippage is, a right, uh, is, is correct. Do that, review swaps, and then it will give you, again, some fees. Um, obviously, there's no quotes because I don't actually have anything there. But once that goes through, then you'll see now my new asset has been added to my wallet. Um, and then you can either buy, receive, da 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 da. So that pretty much explains how to use MetaMask. Um, buy, send, swap. Your address is up here. Here is your balance. Um, and then your activity in terms of sending or receiving any um, assets will go down there. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So those on a mobile device, like I said, your screen will be pretty much identical here. Um, and we've gone over installing the browser extension. And for those of you, so let's say you're here like this, and you're saying, okay, well, where is it? Um, you go here on the plugins, extensions, MetaMask, double click this. It will then log it here, just as a little pop out. But what you can do is expand view as well. So that's everything for today's how-to video. Um, and we'll see you on the next recording. Take care, guys.